All right, here we go. The Kulakaya Kula Ice Cap, the largest glacier area in the tropics, located in the Andes of mountains of Peru, known as the water resource for millions of people in Peru, is expected to be completely gone by the year 2100 if it continues to melt at the rate that it's melting. For the past years, the threats of global warming have become more evident worldwide as natural habitats are dramatically changing and their temperature is radically increasing. The primary cause behind global warming is going to be the emission of greenhouse gases, which are caused by the burning of various fuels caused by humans. On the governments worldwide have created policies and organizations aimed to the protection of our environment. Most of them are considered not efficient and are not well funded. Therefore, scientists have considered more direct options that use technical projects aimed to modify or add to the environment and reduce the amount of greenhouse emissions. This solution is known as geoengineering. One of the leading innovators of geoengineering is scholar Sam Thurston, a crew member of the A American Enterprise Institution. Thurston, who has been studying global warming for more than two decades, is the current, currently the co editor of the AEI Geoengineering Project, whose primary mission is to to start developing scientific projects to start reducing the amount of pollution in the air. In this speech, I will argue that global warming is evidently real. First, I will argue about the threats of global warming. Second, I will argue about the geoengineering solution and that is the most direct solution to, to stop the threats of global warming. And third, I will argue that geoengineering is not a risky solution and is going to be more efficient than emission restrictions. I have not been received by arguing that global warming is real and not just junk science. According to uh, Mahalo Gantakaraman, a journalist from the prestigious Indian Journal publication of Science and Technology, the effects that threats of global warming have caused serious effects on both humans and the weather. These effects are seen through the changes in the amount of precipitation in many areas around the world, the rapid melting of ice sheets, night glaciers on both the southern and northern hemisphere, the rise of sea levels, the change in migration of many species, the destruction of habitats, the extinction of many species, and the endangerment of many species, particularly those that depend on cold climates. Also, changes in temperature and precipitation can, can lead to an increase in duration and intensity of natural disasters such as tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, and floodings. Global warming has also been known as a pathway return of deadly diseases known to men, such as malaria. Also, the tremendous increase in the Earth's temperature has led to an increase of deaths of humans caused by heat waves. According to Kevin Wallace, editor of the Technological Review, a magazine that emphasizes on covering technological innovations, the annual emission of uh, fossil fuel combustions has increased by 41% over the last two decades. Now that I argue about the serious effects of global warming, I'm not going to argue that geoengineering is the best possible direct solution to tackle these threats. I'm first going to start by defining what geoengineering is. Geoengineering is the use of scientific procedures to purposefully alter or modify their environment and reduce the amount of greenhouse emissions. It is known that the cost of the Earth's temperature, increased temperature, is caused by two forces, solar radiation and greenhouse emissions. The concept behind geoengineering is to tackle these two forces directly using science projects. Geoengineering currently consists of two major projects, which consists of reflecting solar radiation and reducing the amount of carbon dioxide. By reflecting solar radiation, this procedure consists of releasing chemicals into the atmosphere that will eventually cool the planet and reduce the amount of greenhouses. Chemical particles such as sulfur will be sprayed into the atmosphere, causing a cooling effect and reducing the amounts of greenhouse gases. The second project uh, consists of reducing the amount of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide in the air. This procedure will consist of purposely releasing nutrients into the ocean floor, which will increase uh, the amount of plankton, which is a water organism that is known to successfully reduce the amount of carbon dioxide. The scale of the geoengineering projects can range from a nation's performance to an individual's performance. As an ordinary citizens can practice geoengineering by simply modifying the rooftop. According to Thurston previously stated, a study in California conducted by three scientists 
concluded that painted a 1,000 square foot rooftop white could reflect as much sunlight that would work against the effects of 10 tons of carbon dioxide. And like on emission restrictions, Jujuri is the most direct way to stabilize global warming. Now that I argue about the Jujuri solution, I'm not going to argue that. Although Jujuri is classified as a risky solution since it's never been fully tested, it is the most proficient way to stabilize global warming and it's more proficient than any emission restrictions policies. Scientists themselves have questioned the efficiency of geoengineering claim since it has never been fully tested and are concerned about the various effects it can bring. The primary concern is the disruption of regional climate, claiming that geoengineering will severely add, alter the amount of precipitation some areas will receive and can also uh, lead to massive floods. They are also concerned that by spraying chemical particles into the air, it could reduce the amount of it could result in ozone depletion. However, if the concerns I just presented have been labeled as not significant enough to outweigh the potential benefits of geoengineering. According to Tom Wigley, a member of the National uh, Association for Atmospheric Research, geoengineering is the most proficient way to stabilize global warming, something that emission restrictions couldn't possibly do. Today, many worldwide efforts and organizations have been created in efforts to reduce the amount of greenhouse emissions. In 1991, the Kyoto Protocol, an organization created by various countries, was, uh, was created with the mission to stop, to reduce the amount of greenhouse emissions and bring them back to the levels in the 1990s. However, the mission, their expectations have, have fallen shortly. Today, both China and India, the two largest countries, who were excluded from the PR protocol have failed to accept any limitations on the future emissions. It is, it's, it is estimated by 2030, China itself will equal the total global emissions that total global emissions today. In this speech, I argue that global warming is evidently real. First, I argue that about the threats of global warming. Second, I argue that junior is the best direct solution to fight the threats of global warming. And third, I argue that although the engineering has never been fully tested, it is the most efficient way to reduce the amount of greenhouse emissions. Today, there are many organizations that are joined together in the effort to stop global warming. However, none of them will be more economical, more proficient than geoengineering. A simple citizen can engage in geoengineering by simply modifying the rooftop. In our American politics, there's a tremendous gap regarding the view on global warming. And as Democrats, Democrats, Republicans are known as a group that have greatly opposed any climate regulations since they argue that the seriousness of global warming is just an overall exaggeration of the media. Only about only 42% of Republicans claim that global warming is a serious threat compared to 76% of Democrats. Republican Senator John McCain has been known as the only Republican pressuring candidate to have fully supported a coherent international climate policy that is based on international research. It is time for Republicans to acknowledge that global warming is a serious threat and it's time for them to join in, in the cost to find new solutions for global warming, to fight the threats of global warming. According to Thurston, previously stated, many uh, worldwide uh, prestigious organizations such as NASA, the National Academy of Science, and the Department of Energy have concluded that geoengineering is the most feasible, capable, and economical strategy to fight global warming. On the global warming, also geoengineering is still a mysterious uh, option since it's not been completed. It is the only action we'll be considering in the, in the next few years because we have felt so far of controlling the climate regulation.